Today I'm going to do a first impressions video of the Boss Tone software that you can install and run with your Boss Katana. In case you missed it, last week I did a review of how the Boss feels in 2023. I really enjoy playing this amp, however I didn't have any time to actually mess around with the software. So today we are going to plug this in and see how easy is it to set this up and play with the sounds. So here we go. So to hook this up we need a USB cable. This is a USB type cable. From what I saw on YouTube, I should be able to just plug this in into my computer and it should work. Okay, so it's not seeing it right off the bat, which I was kind of hoping it would just do. So let's uh, download the drivers and everything and see how it works. So we're going to go to angry download. I have to update to version Katana Mark II System Program version two. So to do that, what I gotta do first is see the version that I have. And the way you do that is you hold down the tap button, turn on the power. So all five lights above the effects are red, which means it's the old version. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow these instructions and we're gonna install the operating system on here and uh, hope for the best. Anyways, I downloaded the, the file already, so let's go through the, the setup. Turn the power switch on while holding channel one and panel both at the same time. So an important stage here is you wanna make sure that you copy the files over, not the fold. I double checked, the software is up to date. I reinstalled the Boss Tone Studio, so that should be good to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in, turn it on, and hopefully it works. Uh, turning it on. I go to Finder, Applications. I go to my Boss. Boss Tone Studio. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Okay. There is a ton of things we can do with this software, which I didn't even realize it because I've just been playing with the amp so far, but this is really cool. Anyways, let's just do a quick overview. So in the top section up here, we have our different window panels we can mess with. So we have our editor window, our librarian window, which I believe it's like you can create like your own sound effects and bank them. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what that's for. Tone central. So this is just like different variations and different presets that you can download and play with which is really cool and then you have your system preferences so if you need to change any settings so the next part is basically the top of the panel now I did a full review of this last week I have the video you can wherever it is uh, check it out it's a cool video um, just dealing with this right of the box basically uh, in the default settings but this that's what this section is here so the first section is your amplifier type um, so you can change like the different settings like let's check let's check that out Very cool. Again, it's not, again, it's not something that's available in the hardware form, but through the software, we have access to those effects, which is really cool. The next section is just talking about your different uh, chains of effects. So um, the next section just kind of, the next section just kind of shows you the different window options we have there. So this is the effects panel. So you can see what effects I have loaded right now. I can go through and I can change this. So for example, by default, you have the blues drive, the overdrive and the distortion. However, I can go like this, make this an overdrive, make this a T-scream, tube screamer, I'm assuming, uh, distortion. Ooh, rat distortion, let's, let's see how that is. And then uh, you could probably save it to the panel. I'm assuming you would just go to right, panel, right. Those are saved on here, which is really useful. So let's see what the rat sounds like. If it... yeah. So the next section we have different chains that we can select, which is pretty cool. So if you want to mess around with different orders that you that you want of the effects to come in, where your amp equalizer is, all that stuff, you can play with that. Um, here, oh cool. So these are your actual effect settings. Again, these are things you don't have access to 
on the hardware, but you can tweak them here if you wanted to. So you can look at your booster effects, um, modulation effects, you can go through everything there, preloaded EQs. On this side here, you have the different channel settings. So each channel on your amp, you have two settings. So I can create new channels. So depending on the types of gigs that I play, I can have a different setting for the different styles of music that I'm playing, and I can save it in the banks here, load it on here, and off I go. Very cool. What are my thoughts on this software? My only pet peeve that I had with this software was just the setup process. Not hard to update this, but it would have been really cool that I can just plug in and play like kind of what the website was talking about. Like it's plug it in and it'd see it and take me through the process. I didn't get that. I had to go through everything manually. Like I said at the beginning of the video, a quick Google search and you're already at the page with all the drivers that you need. First thing you want to do when you get one of these is just make sure that you do have the newer version, the new system software installed because that makes a load of difference. And then just make sure you download the right Tone Studio. Being able to control this on an iPad would be really cool. I think a bonus of having amps like this being able to connect via Bluetooth is more for the update side of things. You know if the amp needs an update, you can be on top of the updates quicker because you have a device that an app that will be able to see if it needs to be updated. It's not hard using the hardware to figure it out, but again, that's my quick review and setup of this overall. Um, give the software an 8 out of 10. Anyways, thank you very much. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.